Hey, what's up? Uh, just making a quick video uh, to address a question I see pretty often across ARC7 and ARC8 pages all the time. And uh, it's usually regarding like what transmissions, what bell housings, whatever you can use with you know, whatever RX insert number here with whatever engine uh, code or whatever. And uh, a lot of people seem to be pretty confused. They don't really know where to find answers for it. I mean, it's there, you just gotta look for it, but the question always comes up just like, what oil should you use? Which I also have a video for. Go check that out if uh, you want to see that and stuff. Anyway, uh, let's uh, show you what I'm uh, going to be talking about and whatever. So in front of me, I have a two Series 2 RX-8 transmissions, uh, you know, both out of R3s, although S2 transmissions are the same across the board. And over there is my 1976 to 1978 RX-5 Cosmo 13B. Uh, engine that I'm rebuilding. It's the killer bee stuff. Go check those videos out too. But over here, I have a iron. It is a R5 cast. Actually, let me uh, turn it off. Yeah, so it's an R5 cast, and uh, it's one of the rare irons, I think. Um, has a couple missing through bolt holes and stuff like that. Anyway, uh, the point I want to make with this video is that. You know, all bolt patterns between all uh, Mazda rotary engines between 1973 and 2012 are all exactly the same. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is showing you that it you know, mounts right up to a uh, Series 2 RX-8 trans. So, let's go ahead and get on top of this. Oh, and uh, let's see. So... All, uh, even though the bolt pattern is all exactly the same, uh, there might be some differences, like on the uh, on the Renesis, I believe, where this little dowel hole thing is. Uh, there is no uh, threads in it, so you can't put a uh, you know a bolt through it. Even though there is a space for it right there. Mount the dowels. There you go, uh, 76 to 78 uh, RX-5 uh, rear iron mounted to a uh, Series 2 trans. And of course the bolts are pretty much all the same. Let's see, and uh, now another question rises up, can I use whatever flywheel with whatever clutch and you know whatever? And there are differences between models, uh, but it's, uh, I'll show you over here. Okay, so this will make it a little bit easier to uh, describe things. So these are the, the main two types of different flywheels uh, between uh, different RX-7 models. You have an NA flywheel, which is the uh, smaller uh, clutch disc, smaller flywheel diameter. And then you have the turbo slash RX-8 uh, flywheel, which is just the lar larger diameter. So found in the uh, Turbo 2 FC, the uh, Turbo, oh, of course Turbo, uh, FD, and uh, RX-8s. You know, it's all the same dimensions and stuff like that. Uh, the only difference in clutches and stuff like that would be with the FD with the pole type. But, um, so you can convert those to the regular push type and stuff like that. But that that's something else. I'm not going to talk too much about that. But, um... Yeah, depending on what trans or whatever bell housing you're using, that will determine which uh, which flywheel you should use and which clutch kit you should use. So, let's see. I think the uh, clutch kit that I put on my RX-8 with the Racing B aluminum lightweight flywheel is a uh, Turbo 2 uh, spec clutch, which is pretty much exactly the same as the RX-8 one. And uh, let's see. So... Because I'm going to be using this Series 2 trans in my RX-7, uh, I do have to switch over to a uh, Turbo slash, or Turbo RX-7 slash RX-8 flywheel, which uh, will be later down the road. But after I build the engine, uh, it'll be going in with this, uh, this NA flywheel because I'm going to be using my, uh, what is it, the RX-5 uh, five-speed trans. And the reason I'm going to be doing that instead of just jumping straight to the uh, RX-8 trans is because I still need to get uh, dyno numbers and you know compare all that stuff before I switch over to the RX-8 trans because it'll be better to uh, you know, to do all the same gear ratios and stuff like that on the dyno 
so I get a more accurate comparison between what it dyno last time. But anyway, I hope that answered some questions a little bit clearer. Uh, if not, then leave a comment or message me on Facebook or something like that and ask me more stuff that I may have not covered in this video. But bottom line to summarize, uh, if you're using you know X transmission, then you should use the compatible flywheel for that uh, bell housing or transmission. Because like on the uh, Series 2 RX-8 trans, the bell housing is not removable. As you can see here, it's all one solid piece. But on uh, older uh, RX transmissions and stuff like that, the bell housing is removable and I believe they're all interchangeable, but if not, then whatever bell housing your trans has on it, then that will determine what file will use. And of course the clutch kit and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, I'm gonna end this video here and uh, get back to work on getting the RX-8 back on the road. Because of course my low mile trans is right there and I just need to put it in. I can get the car back together and back on the road. So yeah, all right, see ya.